Hear me, hear me, my people. For thus says the word of the Lord. I am that I am. There is no other. There is one way to me. And that is through the anointed Messiah. He is the living word. He is the one that paid the propitiation of your sin debt. He is the redeemer. And he is the only reconciliation back to me. And I say today. That those who have mocked and scoffed and laughed at my appointed messengers while reap what they sow. And for those who are refusing to come into the kingdom because of rebellion, witchcraft, idolatry, fornication, There is coming my final judgment. The warnings have went out. My word has remained true. I set before you an open door that no one can shut. And you refuse to walk in it. Rather you mock and hurt and attack those who do. My children both Jew and Gentile, in Jerusalem and around my world, my creation, are under an umbrella of protection as all hell rains down on earth. You are outside of my protection. You shall reap what you sow. You have been shown the altar and the mercy seat through the blood atonement of Yeshua, the anointed Messiah, who was in the beginning with me and now sits with me and shall return at the blow of a trump. He comes to gather his children who have trusted and obeyed and received him and made him Lord and Savior this mockery of his return will turn to tears and sorrow and grief and lamenting. Because you choose to believe a lie, I will allow an even stronger deception and delusion. Have I not warned thee hundreds and thousands of years through people in your life through my written word, through my own son's death, burial, and resurrection, that there would come a day. I tell you that that day and hour is at hand. And there will be nowhere to run in that day. On the day of judgment, you will give an account for every careless word you have spoken. You will stand before a great white throne and the one seated upon it. You will no longer pass judgment on your brother. Why do you despise your brother because of his obedience to me? Why do you mock at him because of his obedience to me? Did I not say to not covet? Did I say to curse not, but yet rather bless? There are no blessings coming out of your mouth. Therefore, curses will rain down upon you. You will stand before Yeshua at the judgment seat. When Jesus Christ, my son, returns, he will come in full power and authority as a light, and you will be cast into darkness. I see the purpose of your heart. There will rise an antichrist and all who dwell on the earth will worship him. And if your name is not written in the Lamb's book of life that was created before the foundation of this world by me, 
You will be appointed to die, judged, and cast down. Concerning this day and hour, let it be known that no man knows or should profess to know or profess to speak this day for me. If you judged yourself righteously, you would not be judged. So to my messengers and to my faithful bride, never avenge yourself. For it is written, vengeance is mine, and I will repay, says the Lord. The day the bride awaits is coming like a thief. Surely it is drawing upon you. Can you not see the signs in the heaven and on the earth and the distress of the nations and the wars and the rumors of wars and my promised land surrounded and hated for my name's sake? Shall I not raise up a standard for my children and rebuke the devourer for those who run to me? I warn everybody today who hears this, there is a judgment coming. And if I did not spare the angels when they sinned, but cast them into hell and committed them to chains and darkness, how shall you be judged? O oh, ye mockers and scoffers. You pretend righteousness, but I know you not. God will judge the secrets of men through Christ Jesus on the throne. And it will be more bearable on that day of judgment for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah for those who remain in disbelief and rebellion says the Spirit of the Lord.